Hi everyone, so today we have a special guest on our channel. We have Arsalan with us. So Arsalan, would you like to introduce yourself once? Uh, sure, Ashish. So myself is Sayyid Mohammad Arsalan. I am currently pursuing my computer science and engineering from uh, NIT Silja. And uh, currently I am working as an SD intern in Make My Trip in the hotels backend team. Mm -hmm. Right, right. So recently he has cracked intern plus FT role at Make My Trip, which is a product based company. So we'll be getting to know his journey about how he cracked MMT, his interview experience, the preparation and everything in between. So Salan, would you like to start us off with your interview experience? Like how many rounds were there? What all happened? Uh, okay, Ashish. So Ashish, totally I had three rounds, uh, uh, excluding the online assessment round. And uh, so if we consider that, then we have to totally four rounds. Uh, so two are technical and the last one is the HR. Okay. So can you run us through all the rounds, like what all happened? How did it go? Sure. So Ashish, like jo mera first round, tha, uh, like jo uh -huh. mera first zone round, tha, they, they both are technical. In the first round, it is completely a DSA based round. Uh, they asked me two questions uh, of data structures and algorithms. The first one, if I tell you, is from the linked list. And uh, the second one is from dynamic programming. And the first one is of the medium difficulty. And the second one is of the, you can say, between the medium to hard difficulty. And uh, in the second round, uh, they again ask me about, first of all, they grind me a little about my resume. So they ask me about my resume that what projects you had done, uh, kisi clubs mein the ki de, and uh, what's your CGP and all. And then after this, they get into my projects GitHub. And they, they opened it and they asked me, like, since it's, uh, it's a group project, which so they asked me about uh, what's your role. Then they asked me, ki aapka contribution kya hai, uh, in the project? Then I'll explain that. Then they asked me some basic backend questions from that. And uh, they also asked me the uh, schema of my project, database schema of my project. And uh, DB design, basically. Yes, yes correct. DB. And uh, after this, uh, they go into yes they ask me a dsa question they asked me to implement kmp algorithm kmp string matching algorithm okay. and uh, then they asked me a competitive programming question which i had, didn't remember it correctly but it, you can consider it to be a difficulty of uh, if anyone is doing code forces then it can consider it to be a difficulty of problem c uh, dip to c correct dip to c we can consider it yes uh, so this uh, this all we had and then they also asked me that why you want to join make my trip in the last and yes then we had the chat mm -hmm. nice nice so we can say that the prominent part of it was uh, dsa according to you right yes make my trip is also well known for for their dsa interviews yes the dsa is amazing right right so what would you rate as the overall difficulty of the dsa that they had asked uh, actually, the in the uh, in the first round, I rated uh, if out of five, I rated three point five only. But uh, in the second round, I rated to be four point five out of five because uh, it is little unconventional. Because generally, you don't get the KMP algorithm in a technical interview. Right, and right. Even I was surprised this. to hear this. Uh, yes. Even I have not heard that before. You have to implement KMP, which is it comes under. Thoda hard wala part of uh, string matching uh, algorithm. It's little advanced algorithm in DSA. Actually, uh, I generally do competitive programming, so mujhe, matlab, uh, pata tha, I'll implement it, but might be ha, kisi ke liye wo difficult ho sakta hai because sometimes we can't mug up it also. Hum usko as a black box use kar lete hai, to wo hai. So if someone is not understanding it properly, we implement it in this moment. Pe. Hmm. Right, right. Unless prior experience se pehle kar rakha, it will be very difficult, almost next to impossible to do it in an interview without any prior experience. Because he suddenly asked me like directly, do, do you know KMP algorithm, string matching algorithm? And I'm like, yeah, I know. So then he's like, uh, implement it. Right, right, right. All right. So like you mentioned, DSA ka difficulty, let's say average would be around medium to hard. So let's discuss more about your DSA preparation. Ki what way did you prepare ki you were able to crack the DSA part of MMT? Okay. So Ashish, like uh, I mainly started uh, my DSA journey from third semester onwards, like my mid semester of third semester. So I mainly started uh, learning DSA. First of all, start with hacker rank only. 
because one of my senior recommended it's very easy for the beginners so i'll solve around 100 to 150 questions in hacker rank of c++ only and so th- i have a like a good knowledge of stl because before hacker rank i also try code forces but i didn't get any idea what it is even i didn't get the ui how to submit a question in code forces that that always happens you know every time uh, even that happened to me code forces ui is not beginner friendly at all right it's very difficult for a first time problem solver to go on code forces that's why hacker rank or code chef are much better choices for a complete beginner at least correct so then i'll switch to hacker rank then i'll like hacker rank makes my foundation a very strong like in terms of stls uh, in c++ and then from hacker rank i'll switch to code chef i start doing uh, start uh, doing the code forces contest uh, a, no so code chef contest and uh, in the starting i am able to solve only a to b questions of div4 that has very easy that is the implementation base and then gradually gradually after one months i'll become two star on code chef then it give me a little confidence okay i can also be in competitive programming and uh, then uh, then it will like my it will improve more then it, it's in it, like my curve started improving more after that and then i'll become four star after becoming four star on uh, code chef i'll switch to lead code i'll switch to lead code i'll and you can say also code forces i'll start doing code forces as well along with and i mainly started doing cscs problem set so uh, because when i switch to lead code everything is fine but i am uh, like feeling very stuck in trees dp and graphs so for dp i'll go to the cscs problem set i started solving it and along with that i also started solving the stivers 450 sheet because my internship season is close enough so i am also preparing for that so i started this uh, stivers sheet also that helped me a lot i'll say yes and uh, i'll never miss a code forces uh, co- contest uh, till the point i'll not get the position even now also when i get time i'll attempt the code forces contest because from that time when my sheet is over dsa sheet is over i am more engrossed into the problem solving comparing to cracking a interview so like it becomes my like something hobby type so i am doing and and mainly what helps me a lot is that i had my friend named as rohit jain we had a discussions of our uh, cp contest and that makes my interest more into this and uh, i'll recommend like i always recommend that you should ho- always have a peer group uh, while doing dsc preparation or competitive programming because uh, sometimes you like when the contest n- not goes well then you feel very disheartened and at that time you should have a friend whom you can call or whom you can connect uh, and he also said bhai mera bhi acha nahi gaya so so that that you needed else uh, we are humans aur humko aisa ho jata ki ho nahi raha mere se right. so that's what i'm saying mm-hmm. no no that is <clears throat> a great recommendation when you have friends and all working with you na to fir wo feel nahi aati ki problem solving ek chore hai ya fir hectic hai ya fir boring hai it kind of becomes interesting you have friendship wali rivalry also ki mere se isne zyada kar liya mere ko bhi better karna hai to ek problem solving ek hobby ban jata hai and like habit ho jati hai rather than just thinking of something ki which you have to do like studying it becomes very good and i also say that if someone is not uh, like it's also up to him also like seeing me that he do competitive programming and crack the interview or anyone because in the starting like in my juniors i also see that okay uh, this bhaiya do competitive programming this bhaiya do development what we choose so uh, that doubt i also say that uh, competitive programming is not directly related to cracking interviews but yes it helps you in your online assessments because in the online assessments the level of questions is related to competitive programming so yes but if someone not do competitive programming it's also absolutely fine if you are well good like you have a very good base in web, web development or any development yes correct correct but like i was saying ki like you said competitive programming necessary to nahi hai but if you are still in college if you are before your third year i highly suggest every time ki at least cp ko give it a try especially with a peer group because it might not help directly into interview but your problem solving skills aapki improve hoti hai na dsa itself becomes easy if you're good at cp so it is highly suggested to do at least if you're having some free extra time right everyone should give it a try basically yes 
करेक्ट राइट राइट सो वी टॉक्ड अबाउट डी एन प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग वॉट अबाउट डेवलपमेंट लाइक डिड यू फोकस कम्प्लीटली ऑन डी एस ए या फिर डेवलपमेंट का कैसा सीन था Uh, like I mainly focused on uh, DSA because as I said कि मेरे को competitive programming में interest आ गया था and it is like something <laughs> कि अगर आपको एक बार interest आ जाए इसमें तो आप उसको छोड़ नहीं पाओगे even in job आप नहीं छोड़ पाओगे आप करते रहोगे but uh, yes uh, development is necessary as I said in my second uh, round of interview they allocate around 15 to 20 minutes for my project discussion so uh, actually in my summers of internship season like just before the internship season in my summer uh, actually we make a group for like we decide because hum teeno jo hum teeno uh, friends the jinhone ye project banaya hum teeno competitive programming wale the and we are like ki we sh- we have to do a project uh, else to nahi hoga then humne then we form a group and we make that we make this project this is a group project and i also make one of my personal project so these two projects i put it my resume and they are from web development i'll choose web development uh so yes that's what the development can you tell us a bit about the project the personal project like what kind of project it was yes i'll tell you the project so actually the project is related to uh, you can say a cryptocurrency tracker uh, that i made uh, and uh, it is uh, like it is uh, ba- like mainly a api based project the the personal project and it doesn't have any specific back end architecture i'll mainly use react front end frameworks and the api that we had to list the different crypto coins in our website and uh, you can uh, if someone wants to know in more you can uh, like you can open any crypto exchange in google and uh, you'll get the idea of what it is so uh, that's my personal project and if i talk about my uh, main project so th- that we mainly build a edtech platform uh and uh, uh, like in which uh, my main contribution is in the mainly the payment integration part login uh, authorization or the authentication part mainly in the back end and my friend contributed in the front end part and that project is mainly about that listing different courses creating different courses a person can come like you can say like you can uh, open any edtech platforms the novelty uh, that we added in that platform is like personal assistant for the student like uh, you get personal assistants also and you can uh, book sessions for free that uh, that is our that is my group project or you can say the main project that we had and that is uh, completely a web development project yes. nice nice so are these projects deployed like have you deployed them somewhere yes like uh, like my main project uh, we deployed in on cloud so uh, the aws cloud and th- uh, that was we deployed and my personal project it is like i'll deploy it in on virtual only like uh, you have to make your project live yes that's also my recommendation that is very important yes uh, uh, because you have to put that link in your resume uh, that live link because yes in my during my interview uh, the interviewer will open my main project they ask me to open my main project and i'll open their live link they also yes i also recommend one thing when you are giving your interview be prepared with your local setup of your project local setup and your databases should all be uh, all will should be ready because when i in a in my interview the interview will ask me to open my mongo db to see me uh, to see the entries how you, how you make the schemas how login and sign up is working how the otp is sent so all these thing to check he asked me to open the project in local and then also open the database to see the entries so at that time you should be ready with all these things i am not ready so I, it take a little time for me to set up it like 5 to 6 minutes but i'll recommend everyone to be be ready with that mm-hmm. right 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 and uh, if it's possible we'll also give the links of the projects and the resources everything in the description box so you guys can check it out and you know take some inspiration from it as well so make sure that you check the description box out all right so we've talked about your preparation we've talked about the interview experience on a final note to all of the people who are watching this video jinko bhi ek mmt jaisi company crack karni hai a good paying company what advice would you like to give them uh, uh like my basic advice is ki if you are in the starting of the college don't go for uh, like don't think for the big tax Uh, of the companies that this company or that company is yes, having a dream is good, 
बट आई एल रिकमेंड यू टू मेनली फोकस ऑन द लर्निंग पार्ट एंड मेक इट इंजॉयबल फॉर यू बिकॉज इवन इफ यू क्रैक अ वेरी गुड कंपनी एंड यू आर नॉट इंटरेस्टेड इन टेक यू विल फील लाइक यू फील वेरी बोल्ड ड्यूरिंग द जॉब और लाइक बींग इन दिस जर्नी एंड दिस जर्नी इज ऑल्सो वेरी लॉन्ग एंड यू गेट अ लॉट ऑफ अप्स एंड डाउन ड्यूरिंग दिस जर्नी सो द मेन पार्ट दैट आई थिंक कि मैं जिसकी वजह से इसमें कंसिस्टेंट था इज दैट आई मेक कॉम्पिटेटिव प्रोग्रामिंग इंजॉयबल फॉर मी फॉर एनी वन इट कैन बी डी एस ए ऑल्सो सो येस सो दैट्स अ मेन क्रक्स आई से एंड सेकेंड इज डोंट गो फॉर लाइक मल्टीपल रिसोर्सेस स्टिक टू वन बिकॉज इन द मार्केट एवरी वन इज गुड लाइक द बिग नेम्स आर ऑल गुड एंड the main thing no one can taught you dsc in the videos you have to do questions by yourself you have to do contests you have to like you have to do brainstorming a lot then only you will become good in dsc if you think i can watch a video and it's fine i'll get a question in the interview no in the interview it's a lot of pressurized situation in a, because in a interview a person is constantly watching you and uh, so like it feels little awkward weird so and yes i also recommend you that uh, before going to any interviews do attend mock interviews and at least don't go for booking any sessions or paid mock interview go to your seniors or your friends and ask them to take their mock to take your mock interview because in the mock interview it's not about the quality of questions it's about your temperament how is your temperament आपको मतलब कॉन्फिडेंस कैसा है आपको कैसा आपका आपका हाँ एंड सेकेंडली मैंने बोला कि बहुत गलती होती है दैट जब बहुत सारे कॉम्पिटेटिव प्रोग्रामर्स और बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट्स जब बहुत ज्यादा डीएसए एन कॉम्पिटेटिव प्रोग्रामिंग में लगते हैं सो दे अवॉइड द कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स एंड दैट इज द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग बिकॉज इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू प्रॉपरली एक्सप्लेन योर सोल्यूशन इन द इंटरव्यू यू आर यू नॉट गोन गेट दैट इंटरव्यू क्रैक्ट सो yes take taking good edge cases uh, and yes asking questions to interview is very important you should ask questions to interview usko unko aisa feel nahi hona chahiye that aap sirf khud karte ja rahe so for feedback lete rehna even when you think the approach ask them whether i am thinking in the right direction or not so that uh, interview also feels that i am in the like i am in the journey so in solving this question with him else he feels very awkward like he is not asking me anything and might be you implement the whole approach then in an interview will tell okay it's not the optimal one so it is better to get that feedback in the beginning only uh, no that is very true basically think of it like you and the interviewer are both trying to solve the problem as a team right. rather than you know you're just you solving the problem and he is just sitting there on the side Correct. you have to involve him at every point and that is true a lot of people go into cp and ds and then they become sort of you know less skilled on communication soft skills but that are equally important as your problem solving right 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 so that's some wonderful advice right there okay so i think that covers pretty much everything about aslan's journey to cracking mmt the interview experience and everything so i hope these tips will help a lot of students to everyone watching so thanks a lot aslan for coming on my channel and i'll give his linkedin in the description box you guys can follow him from there connect with him from there so yeah Thanks for watching and thanks Aslan for coming on the channel. Thank you.